creative, heartfelt, extraordinary. Tupac, he was definitely a humanitarian. He definitely believed in the people and doing what he could for people. My name is Ronald Risky Brent. I'm an artist, formerly a Death Row Records art department. I was responsible for some of the most iconic album covers in uh, hip hop history. I grew up in Compton, California. The streets were really bad. Drive-by shootings were happening all the time. I would see friends on a Friday and I might not be able to see that same person on Monday. It was important for me to be an artist growing up in Compton because I was able to get away from like some of the gang violence that was going on. My art was definitely inspired by what I saw in Compton. It was what I was used to seeing every day. Tupac was shooting a video on the Compton Swap Me. So I thought to myself, like, let me go over there and check it out. So when I saw Suge, I just approached him. And when I told him who I was and, and, and Suge saw the portfolio, he told me to come go with him. We walked up to a white van. He tapped on the door. When he opened the door, Tupac was inside. He told Tupac, I want you to check out some of the little homie artwork. When Tupac started looking at my portfolio, I had a picture of Biggie that I had drawn in my, in my portfolio, and he just put his fingers together and he shot at the pages. He was like, boom, boom, why did you draw that? Boom, boom, why did you draw him? Boom, boom, why did you draw that? So Tupac, he told me that I was really dope and he wanted me to work on, you know, a project which turned out to doing the insert for the All Eyes On Me album. I remember when I first got the call from the president of Death Row at that time, Norris Anderson, we need you to draw Tupac on the cross for the Machiavelli Seventh Day Theory cover. And I said, draw Tupac on the cross? I said, for real? So I started painting on the canvas. Pac looked at it and he was like, oh my God, you actually did it. So from there, he was like, I need you to start doing stuff for my house. He was like, my walls are naked. Once we come back from Vegas, we gonna start figuring it out. That was the last time I talked to him. The mural that I'm painting is just a representation of what I feel like Tupac will be doing today. When he said the rose that made it out of the concrete, so many of us have damaged petals, yet we're making it out. And that painting, I want, I want us as roses, I want us to be able to shine with the gift of him by giving us that knowledge that, you know, we can make it out. That's what I took from him being around. I wanted to create a protest. And I know with everything going on, Pac will probably be on the forefront, especially the Black Lives Matter. So in that protest, I just wanted to have people just from different walks of life. It's not just black people, it's not just white people, it's not just Hispanics, because he loved all of us as a whole. So it's a representation of everybody. Everything he did was just so prophetic and, and just so historic. It's like, you can't deny his legend. I just think if Pac was here today, I think he would still be doing music. I think he would still be taking the stand. I think he would still be motivating, inspiring. I owe a lot to him. If he wouldn't have co-signed for me so hard, I'd probably just be somebody still in the neighborhood that's just drawing pictures here and there. He had a big heart. He just had love as a person.